my name is Teresa, and I want to talk about how hydrogen might fit into the energy transition. The relative value of energy products is shifting quickly as the energy transition progresses. Carbon pricing has put a heavy tariff on fossil fuels, and the continued electrification of transport is an existential threat to refineries geared to produce gas and diesel. However, these same complexes, built years ago and strongly depreciated, are the same infrastructure that makes Canada one of the top three global clean hydrogen producers in the world. Hydrogen lies at the crux of the energy transition. It's already produced in mass quantities, and the high-value fuel it is used to create is going to massively decline in demand in the coming years as electric mobility becomes the norm. The demand loss for refined petrochemicals will increase hydrogen production capacity for use as a new zero-carbon fuel. Blue hydrogen is produced by industrial processes like refining, often through steam re methane reformation, coupled with carbon capture and sequestration. If the hydrogen is produced without carbon capture, it's called gray hydrogen and doesn't help decarbonize the sector. Green hydrogen is produced using electricity from renewable sources. It's worth noting that green hydrogen is often touted as a way to store green energy that exceeds grid demand as an alternative to curtailment. There are two underlying assumptions here. One is that hydrogen is easier to store than electrons, and the other is that the value of hydrogen will be more than that of electricity. Currently, technology and economics favor electricity over green hydrogen in most cases. Infrastructure for natural gas, gasoline, and electricity is widely available, hugely advantaging these technologies. Consumers can purchase whatever commodity they choose for home and vehicle power, with advances in electric charging popping up everywhere. Hydrogen is in a different place. Hydrogen vehicles are starting to be developed, with hydrogen transport trucks as a potential winner, due mainly to the weight of the batteries and the amount of available charge that goes into moving battery weight. Hydrogen as a standalone transport fuel will require significant investment, and in what is not yet clear. Solid state hydrogen storage, subsurface injection, compression, and liquefaction, or pipeline transport, or all of those. There is a middle ground where hydrogen is mixed into the existing pipeline streams as a way to reduce the carbon output of the combusted fuel. This carries risk, one of which is the risk of hydrogen embrittlement. As a small molecule, hydrogen can find its way into the structure of metals and cause sudden and catastrophic failure. However, this is a cheap, immediately available option if the process safety risk is managed. Another market where hydrogen has a distinct advantage over electricity is in high heat industrial use. Again, distribution to these locations is difficult, except where co-located in industrial parks, a distinct opportunity. This could significantly decarbonize heavy industry and is likely more efficient for high heat users than electricity. Hydrogen is a rapidly evolving element of the energy industry, with the ability to utilize existing infrastructure to lower the cost of realizing this energy source in market and a lucrative opportunity as carbon pricing continues to climb.